everybody and welcome to the third installment of um, My Life in Color. And this time we're going to work more on setting up a month since as you know we missed January because we kind of got right there at the front and so before I showed you some monthly spreads on what to do and how to do it. So now we're going to focus a little more on that and I'm going to show you a little more how to put things together so that way if you have a whole bunch of stuff um, you'll know where to put it in is fun. One example of a monthly spread. This is one that I took for February. And again, you can do it however you want, but I chose a little smaller one so that I could fit the whole month together. And I love the dotted journals because you just make like a big square and then you just make a whole bunch of little squares and you color it with a marker. And this is just a pen I just wrote February. And then you can draw. So. If you for Valentine's Day, February, I used the color palette, um, purples, reds, pinks, those colors. And there's going to be a lot of hearts, which you can always design a heart like that. Or if you want to get a little fancy, you just, you have a little wings or whatever. You can even do a teardrop or just all kinds of stuff. On top of that, if you like um, lips for Valentine's Day, it's like two mountains, a line, and then a whoop, and you've got lips. So therefore you can do that if you want. Or just cover it with X's and O's. That works too. So, so on this one, I have this written Chinese New Year, but I start on Monday. You can start whenever, and this is just a highlighter I colored throughout it to give some color. What I did was see, I've marked with little symbols. Remember we talked about the key last time in which you make symbols or different colors for certain things that means stuff to you. So I can see this pink heart and realize, oh, that's somebody's birthday. You can put events down here. Now, what I did is instead of drawing a little line, I just went with a whole bunch of little hearts and just made a little rectangle. And this is Happy New Year because we are coming upon the Lunar New Year, also known as the Chinese New Year. Now down here, I have events written. And this is where you put all your events that's going on in February. And it doesn't, I did mine order, but it doesn't have to be in order because all you do is put like Lunar New Year, the 12th, so and so's birthday, the 23rd, which probably you can put it all right here. And that way you know the February events. And then you can come back and put it in your calendar. These were a few others. Like I knew I was going to have two bullet journaling meetings this month. So I put them right there together, the 13th and the 17th and then my little mini vacation right there so that way i know what's going on that way you can look at your your calendar or you can look at your list and you'll be fine because we talk about year goals and long-term goals but it's also good to have monthly goals or even like quarterly goals you can have a quarterly goal like after 90 days this is what you see yourself as and you can do that four times or you can do a monthly goal and like an example for monthly goals would be like save money, tidy up closet, and finish. I call them UFOs, but it's unfinished objects or um, projects. <laughs> you can draw a design however you want. I drew this hand in rows, but you can put stickers, you can put a picture of your cat, your dog. Also, you can make a to-do list, and this can be like shopping for Valentine candy, Valentine gifts. What cookies are you going to bake? Do you have a Valentine party? Do you have, you know, do you celebrate Mardi Gras? What's the stuff you need for that? Write down if you, you know, if you observe Lent, what you're going to give up for that, you know, because those things are coming up. And you can do stuff like work on tasks, organize closet, just anything you want. You can also have a little fun with washi tape. I love washi tape. So if you can ever get your hands on some, I know the Dollar Tree has some, all kinds, and um, Hobby Lobby has some, and I know Hobby Lobby's having a sale on some of their craft stuff, so. But what you can do is there's all different sizes and different colors. Of course, it's a little overkill on the Valentine thing, but you have different patterns and different sizes. And that way, oops, you can make different designs. And then I just put two stickers here because this is where they connected. And so it looked kind of odd. So I just put a sticker there. The key is also is to have fun. So like sometimes, during the month when I'm sitting here with my calendar, I'll put a word or a phrase and see how many words I can make out of that phrase just for fun. Absolutely love to do that. So that's something you can do just for the fun of it. Like you're sitting here and you can't 
think about your list of whatever, you can sit there and do a little game, like whether it's drawing or see how many words you can make out of one word or whatever you want to do. Now here, it's cool if you want to keep a gratitude journal, that's awesome. That's a good one way to do it. Um, you can also do a little gratitude log at the first of the month, or you can do one like every day or something like that, and just kind of think about, you know, what you're grateful for. And you can log it daily, you can log it monthly, you can log it here and there. If you forget something to put in your gratitude journal, you can write it down here and then convert it later. And again, you can organize this however. It can be to-do list, it can be your laundry list, it can be your shopping list, all sorts of things. So this is a different kind of spread. This is a little bigger, a little wider, and actually you probably could write more stuff in it. This is washi tape on the side here, let's see. See, it makes a nice little border. So if you want to also strengthen your pages, you can border it with washi tape. This is three different types and three different um, lengths or widths. And then I drew this little heart and it's a little ribbon. And what you do is first you just draw your heart to like right there, like where a heart would be. And then you just kind of curve like that. And then you put your little tip right here. And then, and you got yourself a little banner. And so you can work on that and furl it and color or whatever you want. And you can draw goals, you can put stickers. Again, the sticker book that I have right here. This one, it has a lot of stuff in it. So if you ever find one of those, they're nice to have. You can write, like here I wrote goals, but you can write whatever you want here. If you want to do meals, or if you want to do something else. Um, for here it's like drink more water. If you don't need it, don't keep it. That's my philosophy. And so that's what I put down here. So to do some decluttering, if you don't need it, don't keep it, you know, simplify your life. Some stickers make for great decorations. You could draw this, but why draw when you have some stickers here too that you can do it. And I did a little drawing here and right there, but you can go whatever you want. You can write February, you can cursive it, put it in print stickers, whatever. But the one thing I like about this is it is a little bigger. So like you can right here, oh, this is someone's, you know, birthday. You could actually write that in the square. The small one, you have to do a um, dot or a symbol or something. So it really just comes down to what you like, you know, the bullet, the shape, the symbol, both, either one. So down here, I always like to leave some room and you can decorate it and fill it however. You can put notes like here I put self-care. So like if I want to do some more self-care this month, that would you call it, that's a goal or something you want to pursue. You can do that and you make a list like schedule it when, you know, evening or morning, you know, what are you thinking about doing? You know, keep it simple. What works for you? Some people it's just a face wash. Some people it's a whole full fledged tea and spa and all that jazz. Sometimes it's just going to sleep a little earlier. Other times it's, you know, making sure you don't have caffeine before a certain time so that we're not wired all night. So just little things here and there. And I put an affirmation right here and it says, remember that all the efforts you are making now will pay off in the end. So and that's something just to keep in mind, everything you're working on now, here, there, your journal, putting it together, coloring your life, how you do it. In the end, once you figure out this journey, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Down here also, you can put a whole bunch of um, items that come up, say like there was a surprise meeting, write it down here. Say there was a surprise party, you write it down there. You know, anything pops up, so-and-so says, oh, we're gonna have lunch at like two or something. You're like, what? So you just put it down here so that way later you realize, oh, Wednesday at two o'clock, you know, I have to meet somebody. And that way having these blank spots will help with that. So now this is, and this is kind of touching into what I'm gonna be focusing on a little bit next week, just touching on it. Next week we're gonna be covering a little bit of routines, but this is kind of just an idea to lay the foundations for it. So this is, can either be goals or ideas. And I drew these and wrote, I drew the little computer, but you don't have to. I mean, it's not the best looking computer, but it makes the point. Goals and or ideas, however you want to do it. Um, these are the projects, like 
free resource vault, um, digital stickers, email, beginner course. So this is like blogging. You just, you, um, separate what you're doing. So like if you blog or do website stuff, that would be one project and you do it over here. And then you see how it's linked to social media down here, which is develop Facebook group, you know, work on Instagram numbers and research things for that. And you can separate these, this project, that project's over here, and that's this part. Whereas over here can be more of your own personal development, your health. Again, kind of like what we talked before, what relaxes you, what gets you in the happy state. Um, professional development, whatever that means to you, exercise more, yoga more, you know, eat more vegetables. You know, that's probably something I could do, eat more greens, you know. Um, the book list that you want to read, movie list you want to see, sports schedule, you know, we love our sports. Some of us really love our sports. And so, you know, we got to keep up with that. And that's the professional development. But you start to um, pinpoint your, um, your life. You put your work and your projects over here. And then you do what you do at home to relax here and there. So that way at work and stuff, you put it all right there. You know where you're going. You can forget about it. And then when you go home, you can relax and do stuff. And if something comes up, you can resort back to your journal and say, oh, that's what I need to do. And that way out of sight, out of mind. And if you draw and use a lot of stickers, it makes it really colorful too. But yeah, and like I said, the start of routines, and that's what we'll be going into a little bit next week. But this is kind of a idea I want you to kind of think about kind of what you do in life. Well, you know, what, what does your life kind of look like? You know, what is your, what's your schedule? You know, and if you don't know, what would you want to look like? What would you want to incorporate? So it's something to think about. And this next thing, and this pink, can't see very well on it. I'm sorry for the color, but it says brain dump. What a brain dump is, is where you put everything that came at you. Say like, it's gonna be costume week on Halloween. You write that down. You know that mom has a birthday in two months. You write that down, you know. You know you're gonna to have to go to a graduation. You know you're going to a wedding. Like you write it all down here. And it doesn't matter if it's in February. This is a brain dump and you dump all your stuff. And it can be anything from dates to workouts to I saw this project to this and that. And it's just um, a really neat way to put all your stuff and come back. Because generally, like, if you write something down, like May 25th is the last day of school, or high school, you write that down. Well, when you start making your May spread, you can go back to that brain dump and be like, oh, okay, what did I miss in May? And you can just go and check. So that way you don't have to write it right then. And you can do that anyway, anywhere, here, anytime there's a blank spot, you can always just dump. Just caution, if you start dumping a lot of random stuff, in places, you might misplace it. So it's kind of good maybe to find a page to just pull all that stuff in. Just like have a random page like this. So even when you close your journal, you'd be like, oh, so-and-so said do this. So you write it down. So it's like a surprise. So you could put like a party at three on Thursday. Well then, you'll know, okay. And then say you have a meeting that's scheduled for April 9th. So you write it down there. And that way you can keep track of uh, what? Like say you scored tickets to a sports team that you want to see. You write that down here when it comes to the month, then you can put it in there like that. So. And you don't have to draw the circle, the circle, <laughs> the square. Um, we're actually just more of a rectangle. You can use washi tape. I love, love washi tape. So, because it does equally work as a border. So, the wider, easier it is for the base. The thinner, like this, is really thin. So, this is a little difficult to work with. So, there is one in the middle, and I thought I grabbed it, but I guess I did not. But there is a medium one that's about two sizes like this together. That's a pretty good um, width in order to uh, in order to do backgrounds and borders and stuff like that. And you can decorate it however. Like I said, also these sticker books you can get some at 
the Dollar Tree, I know um, Walmart, there's ones at Walmart, and Hobby Lobby has them. If you don't want to do that, it has stickers in it where you can make your own list. Like, see, it even has a project detail and a due date, so you can stick that there if that's what you want. So, if you didn't know what something was or you need something real quick, you could just go whoop, and fill it out and you've got it there. Now, don't forget, like on these little guys, if you want, because I use black, so that way you can do it with any pen or any color, but if you want to make it a little fancier, because you know I like color, so you can always take your highlighter and do a color code R. Say you take different colors and you can, like here, crisscross where it looks like a colorful stitch. And that way, I'm sorry, that pink doesn't show up on the screen very well. It's a real pretty color, it just doesn't show up. There you go, maybe this red will. -da. So then you can have stitches and you can go all around like that. R, my favorite thing to do, and I'll show you how to do it real quick. It's a rose. So, really what you do is you start with a circle and then you loop like that, okay? So if you think about how a rose looks, it circles around. So a rose always, it goes around each other like this. So so you just kind of curl it, whatever, and then you have yourself a rose. And you can make it as big as you want, whatever color you want. and. If you want to add some dimension to it, just line, and it looks like the petals are curled up. So, and this is the same idea you can do for all roses. If you want a small rose, you just do it like that. And roses aren't the only aren't the only flowers you can draw. You can also do like a um. It's kind of like a chrysanthemum or a camilla. It's this, and really it's just kind of like drawing clouds, but you do it in a flowery way. You know what I mean? Kind of like a petal light. And then you just keep building, because remember flowers are layered. And then wherever you want your greenery to be, you put your leaves there. you got yourself some flowers if you like flowers if you don't like flowers you know you can draw feathers or hearts or gemstones or anything like that if you like and to make it 3d you're going to use at least two colors you want a darker one and a light one and what you do is like I said thinking about the rose the inside is dark because it doesn't really see a whole lot of light. So, go like that. And then what you do is you come in with a lighter red. And then you blend. And it gives it that. These type of markers are fun because it actually gives the rose a velvety look. So it kind of has the texture of a rose. But, and so you can do that and I'll take up some time here and there if you want to. Also, a good sticker doesn't hurt. You know, if that's what you want to do. So. This is goals. Again, kind of getting things ready. And um, this can be, again, monthly. So I did it larger, and this is that washi tape I used to separate it. So here I put personal, work, finances, hobby, and art. So those are the four things to look at. And again, that pink does not show up, but that says finances there. 
And then I divide it into three little sections. You have your goal and you have your purpose. In other words, why, why? That's basically the why. And the action plan is how. So the goal is what am I going to do? Purpose is why am I going to do it? And the action plan is how am I going to do it? So when you put that through personal, so if your goal is like to get in shape, then the purpose is to be because you want to, you know, run around with some younger members of your family more, or, you know, you want to be able to stay up super late and, you know, have a faster metabolism or whatever. And then you actually plan how do you do it? You know, the honey, the exercise, you know, the green tea, whatever. Work, same thing, go more efficient. Purpose, why? So you can do your job better. Action plan, how are you going to do it? So just another thing to keep you um, thinking about and kind of going forward all the while you know enjoying it having it here so that way it's not just in your mind all the time like i said i like to write about it and then forget about it because if you run it down it's there it's out of here and you can go back to it anytime so finances so your goal is you want to be savvy or save so much money or save something like that you know purpose why and that's a lot of things setting a goal you kind of need a purpose as to why you're doing it so that way it makes the goal make sense and it's easier to obtain and the action plan is how. And if you don't get it, then you try again. There's nothing wrong with that. And then of course for fun, hobby and art, you always have to have fun. So a hobby, what's your goal? You know, are you gonna take up stamp collecting or you know, crocheting or knitting? Like I can't knit because it hurts my wrist, but there's a lot of people who take up knitting and crocheting. And I'm like, that's great. Purpose, to make your own blankets, to make scarves for everybody, you know? And what's your action plan? How are you going to do it? Where are you going to get your yarn? What needles and stuff do you need? So something kind of like that. And it can be work, it can be food, it can be health, it can be whatever you want it to be. And it doesn't have to be this setup. You can set up however, but this is just kind of a big right here, one page kind of in your face. This is what I'm doing, but then you can forget about it. All right, so. This one, for all the readers, people who love to read, you can keep track of your books. Remember I showed you the little bookcase? I don't know, back a little ways, if I can find it. We had the little bitty bookcase right here, okay? That showed you the type of books. Well, you can do a bigger one. So like February reads, you make yourself some books. And if you end up reading a lot of books, you can make this a bookshelf. And what you do is you write down like Cheese Sweet Home. That's what I read. It's a little manga about a little cat on a hound. And you write down the titles as you finish them. And then down here, you rate them. So you just draw a little square or rectangle and you divide it and you can rate it. So like I read Stephen King's um, Buick. It was okay. It was, you know, so I gave it like a two, two star. And Chief Sweet Home, I gave it a five because it was so cute and so awesome. And so on and so forth. So like I have several Hardy Boys I'm going to read. And so I would fill those in as I finish them and then I can rate them. So that way if someone says, well, what did you read? You can go back and say, oh, I read, you know, like in January, you can do one for January. I read The Light of the Jedi. And someone's like, what do you think about that book? Well, let me see. It wasn't my favorite, you know? So, and you can explain why. So just a little something. Um, you can also do it with music, like if you're, um, if you want to listen to different genres or try something or listen to different music here and there, try it out, um, and write what you like. Say you listen to a bluegrass song that you really like, but you listen to another one that's not so great. You know, you can mention that. So if you're in the musical or, you know, just whatever. And so you can write recipes write down your recipes or whatever just anything and you can rate it drinks whatever so just something kind of fun and then kind of to uh set up what you're going to do this is another one that i did and this is books read and this was what i did for overall the year and i then I ran, out, I ran out of time because I couldn't remember the title of all the Hardy Boys books I read because I went on a reading binge there in January and I read like a whole bunch of them and I can't remember all the titles that I read so I have to pull up my list 
and I didn't have it with me. So, but again, you can decorate this and this is what I had an idea was just you can do books, you can do music, and if you wanna decorate it, you don't have to draw. It's not a requirement, but you can. And this one, this is how you do it. <laughs> You draw little hearts, like that. And then a little line, like a little string, and then you knot it. Ooh. And then, well, that pink showed up on that page. And then you color it in, and you got yourself a little, a little heart balloon. So. Yeah, so that's what I've got for this time. I had to cut it a little short because there is a, another meeting coming up in a few minutes. So I will have more next week and we're gonna go more into um, routines and stuff like that. Um, and we're also gonna start looking at where you can put things you like. Like, dun -dun. like I had this wonderful candy. It only comes around Valentine's Day. So I stuck it here. So I'm gonna ask, do you have anything neat? Yes. I have this wonderful candy. So, you know, we're gonna work on things like that, starting to get the, um, get your journal personable where you can put things that you like and stuff like that. So, any questions before we go? Anything? I miss everything? Okie dokie. Well, all right guys, thanks for coming. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. And we'll have more stuff and more fun and um, more color. <laughs> so keep on working and stay creative, okay? <laughs>